maybe you've heard the news or maybe you haven't, but Angelfish, one of the members of the ZK Sync team has announced that they are gonna be launching the ZK Sync network within the next three months and it's going to be community owned. We've expected this for a long time, but you guys all know what that means. <laughs> It means an airdrop is imminent. Seriously though, you soon will be using ZK rollups in any case, so whether you get an airdrop or not, it really doesn't matter. Just come, be early, and learn about it. So to be ready, I wanted to make sure I did every single possible thing I could do on the ZK Sync network. And the best place to find out about that is in the ZK Sync Discord, which I've been in for a while. As they say, the best alpha is always in the Discord. And I just asked the question, what is everything I could do on the ZK Sync network right now? And actually somebody from the core team, BX Pana, responded, which is really cool. They already had a post prepared. It said everything you could do right now on the ZK Sync 1.0 mainnet. I was really happy about that response and I responded with a GIF. BX Pana probably thinks I'm a moron now, but you know, that's the way it goes. <laughs> All right, anyways. So on the list of things you could do, this is everything you could do right now. Users can deposit and withdraw funds to and from L1 and transfer between accounts on L2 using the wallet.zksync.io website. You can also create payment links for others to send your funds on ZK Sync. I've done that, that's a really cool feature. Here's what that website looks like if you wanna look at it. Put in the address, token, amount, and you can send kind of like an invoice link. Aside from that, you can donate to grants via Gitcoin grants. I've been doing that for about the past year. Every time there's a Gitcoin grant, I do that. You can use ZigZag Exchange, which is a really cool exchange. It's an order book exchange on ZK Sync, which is awesome. Aside from that, if you do exclamation mark testnet, you type it in, you could see the things that are available on ZK Sync testnet and you get a pop-up. So you could do everything on mainnet except alternative withdrawals, curve, you could do curve, mint tokens. And on ZK Sync 2.0 testnet, you could do Unisync, which is a Uniswap fork and more is to come. Strangely, ZK NFT is actually not on the list. So that leads me to think that there might be things that people don't really know about that is available to use. This is a website where you can mint NFTs on layer two. Anyways, enjoy.